Say my name. Eisenberg. You're goddamn right. Say my name. <laughs> Hello, my friends. I'm Dieter. This is Papa's Bar. Welcome to another edition. Edition number, I think it's uh, 50 now. 50 or 51. We'll see. Today is Sunday. And I hope you all had a good weekend, all right? Enjoy the Sunday, relax, watch that video. Today I got another singer malt. Glenn Livett, established in 1824. This is a special edition, it's called the Caribbean Reserve. Uh, the reason I call it that is because the whiskey got finished and set in oak barrels, got finished in Caribbean rum barrels. So it will give a that product a different taste, a more sweeter taste, a more rounded taste. Uh, there is no age statement on there, so because something special, so there is, unfortunately, I cannot tell you how old it is, but it really doesn't matter because special editions are special edition, it's something special. All right, my friends? Okay, let's open that thing and see what we get today. If you're not a subscriber yet to my channel, please subscribe, leave your comments down below, like the video. So more subscribers I'm getting, so more fun I have, and so more video I'm gonna make. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Whiskey Sunday. <laughs> okay, my friends. It's a light color. It's not a dark color, so I don't think they put any uh, coloring in there. Many times you get the whiskey, which is 10 or 12 years old, it's really dark, you know, and uh, it comes because they're putting uh, food coloring in there. I mean, it's tasteless. It just make, makes the stuff look better. For example, here, look at that. What a difference. You know, there's coloring in there. Okay, my friends, let's go. Caribbean Reserve. Um, I tell you right now already, it's really, really sweet tasting fruity uh, it's made out of 100% barley so you get a little smell of the barley too but the fruits the fruits I'm smelling even bananas that overpowers everything now it has been finished in rum barrels normally like the other day I tasted another whiskey also finished in uh, rum barrels and it really tasted like sweet rum so it, it was a good whiskey here I don't smell that uh, all I'm getting is sweet smell, like syrup and stuff like that. Really nice. Fruits is the apples, pears, things like that. You know, everything fresh. You know, it's like when the sun rises in the morning in the summertime, blue skies, you know, everything is fresh and the, the, the grass got little water on there, you know, the, the mist. This is how it smells. This feeling, what, what you get. Really nice. Now, to make the feeling even better, let's have a drink. Cheers to you, my friends. I appreciate you turning in. This one for you. Just like the smell, the nose. Very sweet, toffee, caramel, the candy taste, the, the soft toffee candy. Uh, I'm getting orange too, which I didn't have in the nose. Yeah, orange I didn't get in the nose, but I'm getting on my tongue. It's, it's a very good taste. I mean, I like it. Very sweet. I didn't think it's that sweet. But then again, Rum, most rums are really sweet, so all that I get, you know. I got some nice rums here, they're really like 
syrup, sugary sweet syrup. That is not that sweet, but you know, it's it's uh, tamed. It's a tamed sweetness taste, and I like that. Yeah, I was waiting for that. The finish. The finish is it citrus, citrus, lemon, I, I, I don't know, lemon, orange peel, lemon peel mixed together, you know, apples and oranges. <laughs> no, oranges and lemon. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice finish. I mean, the price point for that was, if I'm not mistaken, between 35 and 39 dollars. So it, it, it it's not expensive, you know. Uh, I would say it would be a good mixer too, you know. If you mix with Coke, ginger ale, you know, whatever people use to mix. Uh, I don't mix, so. But I think it's a mixer. It, I would drink it straight, but not every single night. Because I look for more sophistication. I look for oaky taste, which you don't have here at all. No oaky taste. No uh, charcoal taste, no burn taste, or anything like that. Everything is sweet. So, for me personally, that would would be a drink once in a while, maybe once a week, you know, maybe twice a month. I would not drink it every night because I got other whiskies, single malts I like better, which I would drink every night if I could, you know. But this here, for the price point, for the taste. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 7. I think a 7 is a fair. It's not bad, it's not super good, you know. It's to the right from the middle of the road, you know. It's good if you offer that to people who drink straight, if they like sweet whiskies. Uh, if they mix, yes, of course, you can use it, you know. Use it with whatever you mix it with, let's say Coke, you know. I think it would please the person who drinks whiskey with coke it's a nice whiskey not my type i'm not really into that super sweet stuff but again it's not bad you know it's a good whiskey uh, i keep in my collection of course and once in a while i'm gonna have one you know would not be my go-to whiskey you know come home my go-to whiskey uh no no you know, I take the one I like. This would not be my first choice. It's just a little bit too sweet. I'm looking more for a little bit smokiness, a little bit uh, peatiness, you know. This is a Spicide whiskey, if I'm not mistaken. Spicide is uh, the northeast part of Scotland. Uh, I cannot find it right now so quick here. But I think it's a spice side, especially the way it tastes. It's very, that's a good word. It's a mild whiskey. It's a mild whiskey. It's nothing that's gonna kick you. It's nothing that's gonna shock you, anything. No, it, it's, it's good. It, it's a good whiskey, mild, nothing to write home about it. Like I said the other day, the same, nothing to write home about it. It's acceptable. You probably find this in many bars too, you know. It's probably a very common one. It's the first time for me I drink that, so uh, I didn't know what to expect, you know. But like I say, I keep it, I drink it, but not as often as, you know, I would like to, you know, because I got other stuff. So anyway, my friends, I appreciate you turning in. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. If you got any comments, leave it down below. Remember, today is Sunday, everybody's home, most people are home. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what you want, want me to review. I got plenty of whiskey here, you know. I got plenty of vodka, I got liquor, I got brandy, I got gin. That's a good one. I haven't done any gin reviews yet. I think that's what I'm going to do next, a gin review. Okay, my friends, until then, thank you for tuning in. I'm Papa, that's my bar. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye, my friends.